Hello everyone, Revac Tech here, and today we're going to be seeing if the iPhone 5S is worth buying in 2018. So without further ado, let's begin. Before I begin this video, I'd like to give a huge thank you to 91 Tech. This video would not have been possible without him. Go check out his channel and his social media, links in the description. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. So to begin this review, let's go over the specs of the iPhone 5S. The iPhone 5S was released in September of 2013, making the device almost 5 years old by the time of this video. It is rocking the A7 system on a chip that is clocked in at 1.3 GHz paired with 1 GB of RAM. This is what powers the iPhone 5S to do all of your daily tasks. Also, it has a 4 inch retina display with 326 pixels per inch. Now this display is very small compared to most smartphones today, but it definitely gets the job done. Now for storage, it comes in 16, 32, and 64 gigabytes of non-upgradable storage. I personally recommend 32 or 64 gigabyte options because 16 gigabytes is definitely not enough storage for today's standards. Now colors are gold, silver, and space gray. The battery in the iPhone 5S is decent. It has a non-removable 1560 milliamp hour battery that can last most of the day with light to moderate use. Last but not least, the camera. The camera in the iPhone 5S is 8 megapixels that can record 1080 P at 30 frames per second. It has a front facing camera of 1.2 megapixels. Now here's some examples of the rear camera. Here's video on the iPhone 5S. This is the highest setting it can go to. So this is 1080p at 30 frames per second. As you can see, the film does look a little bit laggy my point of view. Um, here I am filming another iPhone 5S, so as you can see it does look a little bit worse than what I was filming with before the iPhone 10. So this is just an example. It's not 100% accurate, but this is what you'll expect to see from the iPhone 5S camera. So there you go. Now that I have all the specs out of the way, I'll let 91 Tech give his review. Hey, how's it going? I am Josh from 91 Tech. Some of you may know me, some may not. I'm sure there'll be a link to my channel in the description. Revac Tech asked me to give some quick thoughts on the iPhone 5S and whether or not it's still worth it in 2018. So we're gonna quickly do that. Straight up, the biggest deciding factor for me and probably most people is despite the fact that the 5S is five years old, it is still fully supported by Apple up to iOS 12, which means that you can download almost any app and do almost anything right now. That's pretty crazy. But just because the iPhone 5S runs iOS 12 doesn't mean that it's worth it. After all, the 4S ran up to iOS 9, but was terribly slow. And I'm happy to say the 5S actually performs pretty well on iOS 12's beta. It's at least decent, and I'm quite impressed. I would even say it feels faster than iOS 11, and that's quite the feat by Apple, gotta give it to them. While the 5S definitely isn't fast, it doesn't feel terribly slow either, and so I think that makes it worth it to buy for some people in 2018. But you have to take into account the price, and I'm happy to say that that only makes things better. The 5S can be found on ebay.com for an average price of around $70, which is really good for a fully capable smartphone in 2018. Now prices will vary depending on what you find, but the that's from my own experience looking on eBay. Now keep in mind, you're buying used, so the battery life isn't going to be very good, probably, which might be a deal breaker for some. And also, the 5S is usable, but I wouldn't say that it's optimal. For another $100, you can get the iPhone SE, and it's going to be much faster and overall a much more pleasant experience. However, all this said, if you need a budget phone just for the basics, the iPhone 5S is a great option in 2018, and I would fully recommend it. Just go for the SE if you need something that'll last you more than a year, or need something that is a bit faster and can handle heavy duty tasks. Overall, the iPhone 5S for me is one of the best phones Apple has ever made simply because it's been supported for so long and has held up so well. You aren't going to find an Android from 2013 still supported. Uh, all that being said, I think I'm done here. Thanks to Revac Tech for having me on today. Hopefully I was able to help some of you out. And with that, I will hand it back to Revac Tech. My honest opinion on the iPhone 5S this is a very good smartphone, especially in 2018. It will be supported with iOS updates well into the summer of 2019. Also, you should get full app support well into 2020 and beyond, so that won't be an issue. And most apps run perfectly fine in the iPhone 5S. You may get some stutters and lags here and there, but overall, you shouldn't be disappointed with the iPhone 5S. Now, where the iPhone 5S performs badly is battery life. Now, I have many iPhone 5S, and they are all good with battery for the most part. On iOS 11 and somewhat iOS 12, 
you'll notice some battery drain, especially if you buy this phone used. You'll probably see a half day of moderate use. You can pick up a used iPhone 5S for around 70 US dollars or below. That's insane for a fully supported iPhone that can run most of the apps handed to it. Also, if you want an iPhone for good video and selfies, you may be disappointed with the iPhone 5S. Because the photos and videos do look a bit fuzzy compared to more recent iPhones like the iPhone SE. So, if you're getting the iPhone 5S for a camera, I wouldn't recommend. But overall, as a smartphone that can do most tasks like browse and watch social media or play games, it works great for it. I personally would recommend this phone, and if you're looking to get a decent phone for cheap or just want to try the iPhone out, you won't be disappointed. It will last you for another two years with app support. Overall, the iPhone 5S is worth buying in 2018. If you have an iPhone 5S, let me know how you like it or dislike it. Well, I guess that concludes this video and review. Thank you once again, 91Tech, for being a part of this video. Well, hopefully you do enjoy this video, and if you did, please smack that like button. Follow my Twitter, Instagram links will be in the description. And as always, this is Reback Tech, signing out.